Hi, I'm Darlene Carmen. And I'm Doug Carmen. Welcome to the show. Caitlin Freeman is back to show us some of her techniques to create artistic desserts that emulates the style or works by famous modern artists. Her book, Modern Art Desserts gives us a profile of the artist she has selected along with a picture of the dessert she creates. Hey, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me, you guys. Now, oh, just to recap, back. thank <laughs> you. <laughs> just to recap for some people who may have missed the first show, mm -hmm. you got the idea to create desserts while working in the cafe at the San Jose Museum of Modern Art for four years. Yes, and, yes. Uh, so how many, uh, you wanted to coincide with the works and the exhibits, so how many exhibits did you uh, participate in? So we started at the SF MoMA in 2009, mm. uh, so that was just a little over four years before the museum closed for its big renovation. It's going to wow. be reopening in 2016. Um, and in that time, we tried to catch almost every traveling exhibition that came through, but wow. we also had a number of things based on the permanent collection. So the book that I wrote has 27 works of art and desserts, but we did about 70 in total. Oh, wow. <gasps> 70. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, not all of your your projects were successful. I yeah. understand you had some yeah. disaster. Why don't you tell no, us? No, no, no. Everything <laughs> was perfect every yeah. time. Um, no, I mean, some of them, you know, you're working with uh, an artist or a piece of work that's so important that you know you have to get it just right. And Andy Warhol was one of those. Mm. You know, oh. almost everybody knows yeah. Andy yeah, Warhol. That's, oh, Andy, that's in Andy? the book. I, uh, where is Andy? I got it. There I he is. And so, Marilyn. Yeah. Almost everybody knows Andy Warhol. So I knew oh, I had to get it right. But yeah, Andy Warhol is so iconic. It was hard to know exactly what to do. So first I kind of copped out and I decided to do pop art corn. I decided I was going to riff on pop art and we were going to make pop, uh, caramel yeah. corn and it had a little temporary tattoo in it. But that was really not going with Andy Warhol. Hmm. So one day, but the problem is, is all of the, the works of art that the SF MoMA had were all non-edible colors. Um, and so, you know, they were a lot of blues and greens and that's just not so easy to make dessert out of is blues and greens. Um, so finally there was, uh, we were looking at this one big piece, and this was a few years after we started, and I thought, you know, what would Andy Warhol do if he was um, making desserts? You know, he was all about screen printing and layering the colors. Uh, but, you know, it was all also about, you know, pop, and it was about mm -hmm. sort of popular culture. So I started thinking about Jell-O um, <laughs> and how, you know, that seemed very Andy Warhol. Um, and so we thought about layering the jello, so it was like layers mm -hmm. of the screen print. And so the piece that we were looking at was one of his self-portraits. And it had some yellow, and it had some red, and it had some green, and it had some blue. And so we were looking at it and thinking, you know, what could we do? And I was like, oh, I know, a Bloody Mary jello. <laughs> <laughs> so, we vodka. <laughs> so we decided it was going to be a great idea. So we decided to do a Campbell's soup tomato, a tomato soup jello, because of course he did his tomato soup can. Soup Tom jello? Tomato soup jello. Okay. And we were going to do celery jello. Mm. And for the <coughs> alcohol, we decided vodka. Blue <laughs> curacao, because it was oh, already sure. colored blue. Sure. So we figured that could be the blue in it. And then we had uh, the yellow, and so decided that we were going to do. Um, horseradish and Worcestershire sauce in them. <laughs> oh. And it started to sound a little dubious, like, uh, <laughs> but we thought when it was all put together, it was going to be great, and people were going to be so excited about Bloody Mary Jello. So we tested it. Do you have testers? I was just going to ask. Do you have volunteers to do this Luckily, for you? Luckily, it was just us <laughs> in the kitchen, and it was literally the most disgusting thing I've ever made. <laughs> So we put it on the shelf. We knew Jello was great, and then once that Elizabeth Taylor piece came up, and it was all really great edible colors, then we had it pulled together. We did a strawberry, rose, and mint Jello, mm -hmm. but then we couldn't call it Jello oh, for the right. book. That's right. That was Elizabeth Taylor. So, <laughs> I don't it, know. It, it turned Marilyn. out. <laughs> and the end, it turned out. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, mm. but that was part of the oh, process, okay. sort of that's figuring good. out what to do and trying something that didn't work, putting it aside for a while, and then coming back and oh, you know yeah. having something that was just well, right. Yeah. In two thousand nine, we attended the Richard Avedon 
mm. uh, retrospective. Yeah, yeah. And I, cool. Yeah, we got to your poster here, and I was really anxious to hear about your inspiration for this. This is, uh, I remember, I remember seeing this, and it was, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you were mesmerized. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what the I heck? mean, the, he was such an influential photographer in my um, schooling. I was a, a photography major, and I loved Richard Avedon. Um, and he did this series in the American West, and there were a lot of these photos in the show. Um, and this was the one that I think almost anyone who sees it right. is oh. captivated because it's oh. horrific yes. and startling. And you know his hairlessness, and you know how the bees are kind of clumped in his ear and on his aortic vein. He's a real beekeeper. He too. was a beekeeper, yeah. and apparently yeah. they took the um, royal jelly and oh. applied it in certain places oh. where they wanted the bees to clump. Oh. And so that's oh, how they got so them. He gets, so actually he gets the artistic effect yeah. that he A little bit, and... yeah, but could you oh, imagine so. sitting still with but all of those bees? look what you did. I so, mean, that's like awesome. Right. Yeah, and this was your, your, your dessert over here. So, Which is? Which you get a, so it's one yeah. thing to love a photograph, and it's another to figure out how to put bees on a dessert, which yeah, I yeah. think only my now, dog likes to eat Now, bees. this was white white chocolate? Is yeah, that yeah. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to really capture kind of the claustrophobia and the clumping and, of course, like the white and the black. Because he's um, so pale. Yeah, yeah. And so I, you know, in order to create a white box, I knew I was going to have to use white chocolate. But I'm not crazy about white chocolate on its own. So I was thinking about ways that I could make it a flavor profile that I really liked. Um, and I really like cardamom with white chocolate. Um, mm. One of my very favorite chocolate bars by a British chocolatier is cardamom and white chocolate. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I brought you, Doug, yeah. a little sample. Now, yeah, I'm going to hold this up. Now, now these are the, the uh, bees on the transfer, right? Uh-huh. And, and yeah. this, is the, uh, this is edible, yeah. right? Yeah. And You're, so just, what we did if was... If I we, eat this... You'll be it, fine. You're not sure. going to swell up. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to eat it. I'm going to eat it. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm. You can do it. Ooh, 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 a little sting from that. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. So what no, we did was we, we actually scanned the bees from mm. the photograph and then, mm. you know, illustrated One them so bee. they looked a little bit less like um, flies. And then we actually, so we took the bees from the photo and put them right on the dessert. We scanned them. We scanned them. Mm. Um, and so the dessert, it was a honey wow. and pistachio mm, parfait delicious. with a cardamom white chocolate on the outside. Mm. Wow. That yeah. was delicious. One of my favorites, but also such a pain to well, make. How many sheets did you have? It looked like four. Was it four uh, sheets there? There are five. One five on sheets. each side except the bottom. Five. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, what was the reaction to people when you made this well, dessert? I mean, I can imagine it would be mixed. Really, it was, because at our cafe, which is inside the SF MoMA, but in the sculpture garden on the fifth floor, and I think this was down on maybe the third floor, so people would come up, and you know, a lot of times right away, like the mandarin cake, they would know what we were talking about. Yeah. But something like that, people would say, I want the fly dessert. or. Why are there flies oh on the dessert? I'm like, oh, <laughs> they're bees. We tried so hard. <laughs> That's a pretty good reaction. <laughs> so they, act, they liked it. They did. Yeah, and it's white you know, to this day, my husband's favorite dessert I've ever made. <laughs> I'm going to have some more. <laughs> He's hungry. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. Yeah, All yeah, these yeah. sweets when we haven't been letting you eat. <laughs> well, you know, I'm very excited that you accepted my challenge to create a dessert from one of my works of art. Yes. So um, just tell me what, I, I'm just, I don't know what we're gonna do here. So <laughs> tell me what you have in mind, what's going on with this. <laughs> so I accepted your challenge, but then I'm also gonna put you to work, oh. making your own dessert. Mm. Um, right. So first, I mean, we talked a little bit when you presented me with this, this um, <laughs> beautiful painting, um, but I wanna hear a little bit about how it was created. You, you t I know that you paint with vegetables, yes. and I was thinking a lot about kind of how to add some vegetable elements or some, you know, textural elements of live plants oh. yeah. uh, into the dessert. You know, I thought I could make a carrot cake or a beet cake or something to, mm. you know, very directly talk about your way of painting. But instead I thought, 
you know, why don't we get a little bit more conceptual? Well, you know, what's funny about my artwork is no matter how many times I tell people that I use the vegetables as a tool to paint, they still um, think that I make juice or extract <laughs> like beets, right, you know, right. for the red. And, you know, they'll, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then they'll go on, well, what, what did you use to make that purple? It's like paint, you know? Right, right. So, and in some ways, you kind of beat me to it because you're already using food for your art. <laughs> you know, I so often look at paintings and I try and figure out what food belongs with that <laughs> painting, but you've already beat me to the punch here. Well, I kind of got into, um, you know, I teach classes and I try to do different artists. I've done Monet and Van Gogh and many others, um, but I try to do it my way. Mm -hmm. Not exactly maybe the way they would have done it, but I try to, to get close. So I went into a Jackson Pollock phase mm -hmm. and I didn't even think I really cared for his work that much until I got into the physical part of it. So for this painting, I, I used a lot of broccoli, just doing a lot of swirls, getting a lot of paint on myself before mm -hmm. I realized you need to, oh, put it on the table, duh. And then for dripping, uh, on his sweater especially, it's just so much paint on there because I, I had to thin the paint down a little bit, and then I carved a potato, uh -huh. made a little V wedgy thingy, uh -huh. and then of course it's holding up and drip, 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 drip. Wow. A lot of spanking, including the one behind me, which is a salad, uh, and in here too, a lot of spanking. I, ca I call it spanking. I don't know what he called. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I really enjoyed the freedom of expression. Yeah. And even though um, abstract is a little out of the realm of what I usually do, I enjoyed the physical part of it, the, the real energy. Well, isn't that what's so interesting? I mean, I feel like often with what I'm doing, you know, we'll have this show that will come up and I won't be crazy about it. And it will be like, uh, I don't really like, I don't really love this art. But as you get into it and as you kind of go with your own project relating yes. to the art, you can find this new appreciation and how you're relating to something you didn't think you liked, but yeah. you end up having this great appreciation for. Yeah, it's that's, really that's such the way a, it works. Such yeah. a great way to kind yeah. of get over what you just think is pretty well, or not what pretty. you do, you know, creating a dessert. Um, some of the artists, you know, are, are not dead, that right. you have come through there. And um, actually you mentioned to me that not not all artists want to have their work, is that right? Most everyone who we've met has been thrilled, but there was one in particular who we made something that I thought was really charming and amazing and people really liked, yeah. who made us stop making it. Um, <laughs> oh. Which, yeah. you know, in yeah. some ways, that's kind of a better story than serving this yeah. cookie plate. You know, having a famous artist recognize what I was doing and tell me to stop <laughs> it's kind of better than just serving a dumb old cookie plate. I you can't wait. Yeah, I would have what think you would do have been complimented that you would. Yeah, you would think so. You would or, think. Yeah, but think sometimes so. people are cranky. What are we going to do here? Um, what do so, we have? Ah, we're going to make some cotton candy, and I'm getting you both involved. Cotton so candy? I had Ooh. this idea, you know, your artwork is so much about texture, and so much, you know, you can just kind of feel the, the energy and the texture in it. Um, and so it kind of started up with the um, evergreen trees and thinking about, you know, how can we get that texture and that color and sort of that pininess. So um, I've always loved cotton candy okay. and I've um, always wanted to figure out how to make cotton candy my own flavors. You know, I don't want to put the pink stuff in mm. and have it be pink cotton candy. Sure. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try and make some rosemary cotton candy. And then what other flavors would go with it? Rosemary, um, cotton well. candy, like yeah. evergreen, see? Because, I mean, you know, you look at that, it looks like a tree. Yeah, mm. yeah, okay. Very much. All right. Do, uh, mm. you know, we went to the book and you didn't uh, have any cotton candy. This, Is this yeah. a new dessert? Or? Brand new. Oh, for <laughs> you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So this a is debut. something yeah. you have yeah. done before. So we decided to do the rosemary cotton candy for okay. the trees. Um, a vanilla bean cotton candy for all the snow. Um, I'm doing a violet cotton candy for uh, the nice purple accents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then a black licorice cotton candy oh, for the Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. So, come on. 
You guys are both going to have some jobs. Oh. First, I'm going to get Darlene started. So uh -oh. we're going to start with some vanilla bean. Okay. This is some um, vanilla bean sugar that I made by muddling some vanilla bean paste with just some organic sugar. And muddling is, Doug is going to demonstrate that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Doug is so, going to demonstrate muddling. So I'm going to get this started, or? and then gonna I'm going to get Doug started on We're going to do this first, and we'll rosemary. get to you. Oh, OK. <laughs> so I've had this machine warming up. Okay. So basically what cotton candy is, is it's just sugar that's been liquefied and then starts spraying oh. out in this floss. <laughs> and so what Darlene's going to be doing is catching the floss on oh, this. Sure. So I can do that. So we're going to put there. a little vanilla okay. bean sugar in there. The machine is now on. So we're going to get it going. That's it. OK. So All we're right. just going to be waiting for the um, floss to start popping up. And then you're going to hold it horizontally and sure. just be spinning and catching okay. all the fairy floss. Oh, sure. I can so, do that. So while you do that, all right. Doug and I are going to get started on ah. the rosemary. So you've got some uh, sugar in your yeah. mortar with your mortar Ooh, and your pestle. Here comes the rosemary. And so I'm going to put some nice fresh Ooh. rosemary leaves. Yummy, yummy. And yeah. then since the rosemary is not going to give us the color that we really want, um, I have some sanding sugar here, which is oh. um, what people would normally use to put Christmas cookies on, put on Christmas cookies. You keep. <laughs> hey, you two, do I have to separate you? <laughs> so, what I'm you're. Keep you in line. <laughs> <laughs> so, Doug, what I want you to do, you see the cotton candy starting to come up? Oh, <laughs> oh you mean I'm supposed to be working well, right now? There, okay. There's not a lot. Otherwise, it'll be yet. all over the studio and get on the cameras and. <laughs> I already see it floating up. So, Doug, what I, what I want you to do is start pounding away. You huh? want to get all the oils out of that rosemary. Is now this I'm going to sit enough? here and I watch never, you guys do I all never your work. I've muddled before. <laughs> yep. And it's you just like I've you're making a mojito before. or something. Yeah. Oh, it, now it's easier now because it's caught on. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, As it heats up. This is the white part. Oh, come on. Now you got to work. You got to smash that stuff. Oh, whoa. Now you know how Darlene feels. Oh, boy. I can sure smell it. Spanking. This is cool. Oh, I, I really did develop my muscles. <laughs> I use kale a lot in the salad <laughs> to spank away. So what I'm doing is I um, cheated and got a head start on some of hey, this uh, rosemary. Isn't this what the Indians did? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah. like you're making masa. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to collect it all in this nice red bowl, which I thought was perfect for the sweater that you did. And we're going to have sort of a little buffet of cotton candy and these super unusual and savory um, colors and flavors. So right. it's going to be kind of like dinner cotton candy. Yeah. So what I've done is I've just... Um, <laughs> How's this? Look, that is so perfect. Ah. Um, all right. So I, I think, think you've gotten about, all of it. About, yeah, it's about like... So what okay. we're going to do is... How's it smell? Hey, yay, yay. <laughs> so we're going to... Naughty. Oh, easy. Just going to take that and start our first layer. Oh. So next, we're going to do violet. Oh, yes. And what's great is um, there are these Italian violet candies that I love so much. This is candy. These are violet Looks candies. like rocks. Looks like amethyst. Oh, they're so it's delicious. It's rock candy. Yes. Is that right? OK. Um, and then I'm going to add, just for a little extra purpliness, a little bit of sanding sugar, just for mm. a little extra color. OK, here we go. Come on. Now, this is the residue. You want me to pick it up or not? Yeah, yeah. It can be in the center of our purple. <laughs> OK. Come on, babe. Yeah, it's smoking. Oh, do you smell that violet? It's, it's incredible. <sighs> oh. Come on. How's that looking, Doug? Is this enough? It's looking good. Oh, no, keep going. You keep going. going. Keep going. That'll, that'll just keep I'm your hands busy. Keep you busy so you don't eat here. it. That's right. So you won't be eating all the dessert before we get it done. <laughs> you think he never eats. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, uh, uh. Wow. So, I, you know, I think this process is really interesting. Muddling to get the flavor out of something. 
Um, and something that we did in the book for um, some sodas that we were making. And we would take something like bubble gum or licorice or um, choke cherries from Canada and muddle them with sugar. Well, no, and oh, wait, I gotta back up here on that bubble gum. Did you chew the bubble gum? No. 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 Okay, so you know, how, how, what did you expect from the bubble gum? Do you expect liquid or a paste? No, no you basically just squishing it and so all of the, the sugar, so it's just sugar and bubble gum, and you'll be squishing the bubble gum so that the sugar all gets flavored with that sticky sweet oh, bubble gum. I see. And so once you have that, then um, pour cold water over it and let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. And then you get this great bubble gum syrup. But we found you can do it with just about anything. You can do it with um, <laughs> licorice. So this is some soft Australian licorice that we I muddled beforehand. How's that? Um, great. We still have some more in there, I think. Yeah. Um, we've done, of course, citrus. Citrus is great. Um, rosemary herbs are great. Um, and well, it's this a great way. Is a lot of work. Oh well, <laughs> if you're so tired, you can stop. That, that's that's why we gave it to you. <laughs> we knew you were the strong one. You got the easy yeah. job. Uh huh. <laughs> more interesting. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I wish this was smell o vision so that <laughs> everyone could smell how amazing this is. How you doing there, Doug? How are you what? doing good? Wow. I didn't know. This is delightful. Hey, uh, hey. So what we'll do is we'll get all four flavors and then Doug will get to dig right in. <laughs> this is so exciting. Doug and maybe me too. Well, we got right. five minutes. If we chug along here, we, we might make it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're so five minutes. Two well. down. Two down. Okay. So amazing that beautiful flossy. Here, Doug. Here's a little sample oh. for you. Yeah, energy while you're. Oh, yeah. do I get that? Ooh. <laughs> so next, I'm gonna do some uh, rosemary. Rosemary. Mm. Is that what he's doing That's there? That's what he's doing there. Okay. I snuck ahead and did some so all that a little work earlier is, today. It's for her tomorrow. You're going to help her out doing it today for tomorrow's work. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Doug, do you want to take a turn at the cotton candy machine? Are you ready for your turn around? I think you're OK. You're good to go. Am I OK? Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, you're yeah. fine. That's for tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you can so go take it here. There we go. All right, here we go. Want to try this? <laughs> Can you smell that nice evergreen uh, smell? Oh, yes. Mm. All right, so did you see what she was doing? You just hold it up and you start to catch it as it comes through. Oh, yeah. So That's you just roll it like this way. But it's going to take a yeah. few minutes for that oh. Um, yeah. oh, cotton neat. candy to start. Wow. You know, we did for one um, one day thing pull out the cotton candy machine. It was for a Paul Clay exhibit. And we it was this one piece with a you know lion's mane and we did a few mm, cotton candies but wow. um, it was just a, a, a one day project. <laughs> wow. Um, I don't seem to have, have that much luck. Well, it what you doesn't. have to do is you have to wait for the sugar to melt. Yeah, so we just sure put the sugar melt. in there and it's this heating element is liquefying the sugar and then as soon as it's liquefied it starts spitting up. Oh, so it's not, yeah. it's really not ready yet. Nope, yet. but here it comes. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, oh, it's now. coming now. There oh. we go. Keep turning. Two hand operation. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, that's that. He's doing Keep it. Keep it cool going. Way. Keep Single it going. Single handed. Wow. So you're getting all the colors there. Yeah. Wow. It's like. And then incorporating the red with the bowl. <laughs> yes, of course. And so the. Licorice, which we are going to do next, you know, you can see that this was three minutes. <laughs> uh, this was the licorice, licorice to start with, and then I muddled oh, the heck out of it until wow. it was so to soften nice it, and, yeah, and get the sugar incorporated. And to really get that yeah. that licorice essence. Licorice. <laughs> We're oh. going to need to. And 
And a little bit That's of sanding huge. sugar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How's that go in there? Maybe for the sake of time, we can yeah? do a... I think that's about it. It doesn't yeah. seem to be too much more. Coming. Okay, because we, we, we're running out of time. Let's, let's see if we can get that on the last. Oh, go on, Doug, grab it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's going to get stuck in his hair. beard. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> now I can replace some of that missing hair. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. could have been like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I think we have a little bit of green left in there. Yeah. I guess there's a we technique don't want to well, let's, it. Let's see the last way because we're we're gonna be out of time. Super. I don't want to run out. I gotta see my dessert here. <laughs> oh. Oh, Whoa! Look at that. There you go. It's like exciting. Let's get this. Okay, oh, we'll just keep going clock. here. <laughs> stop the clock. We're not done yet. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. add a little more black so it's sort of this ominous on? black. Turn on. Sure. There we I'll go. Add a little Whee! while it's going. There I know you don't like to break the rules with electronics, but I'm going to add a little more. <laughs> well, there you go. Don't we'll get some color in there. Yeah. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> well, we'll have color with specks in it. <laughs> exactly. We'll yeah. have freckles all over our face. <laughs> oh. Hey, I like that. I like it. Ah. See? That's nice. Added texture. Sure. Perfect. Hopefully, yeah. it doesn't look like ants in your cotton. <laughs> What this do you is, think? This is so mm, exciting. Delicious. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Mm. Well, I got all these flavors over here. Here. Oh. Oh, well, well. <laughs> He's going to oh, ruin our artwork. <laughs> oh, well. Sorry. You know, I think this would be an awesome idea for a Food Network show. Because, you know, they, they've done uh, flower arranging with art. Mm hmm They haven't done desserts. They haven't done enough cotton candy on the Food Network, I think. <laughs> well, you know, they could have competition. Yeah. You know, a lot of different interpretations of one piece. Uh -huh. Or bring in five pieces and, and see who creates the most interest. That's And a good I get idea. to be the judge? You should participate in All that. All right. And we get know who's the, I hope. who's the expert. Yeah. Yes. Boy, there's nobody that does does desserts like that. Well, good time. to me. Here's our dessert. Is this hot? No, no, nope, no. Nope. You're good. Ta -da. And here we go. Masterpiece. Bowl full 30 of cotton candy. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go. Oh, thanks, thanks for doing the show. Really enjoyed. Thanks for watching the show and check the website for detail. Is this not pretty? <laughs> this is really pretty. See? Not, not compared to me, but compared to the art. <laughs> thanks oh, for watching the well, show. The, the imagination of, of interpretation. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah.